Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if there's not enough space available on the disk to complete the operation. And you're coming across this error message on Windows 11 when you're attempting to partition your drives. So for whatever reason, it's hidden space and you want to make it visible again if you want to make a partition out of it. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to do it. And unfortunately, we're not going to be able to use disk management because that's the root issue here. We don't, we're not able to do it through the disk management utility built into Windows. So we are going to use a free utility online. So go ahead and open up a web browser, it doesn't matter which one. And we're going to search for a mini tool partition wizard free. Go ahead and search for that. One of the best matches should be partitionwizard.com. Go ahead and open them up. So go ahead and select the Download Now button. Again, make sure it's the free version here. We do not need the professional version for today's tutorial. I always get comments on videos where there are paid versions of the same free software that I show. Please, you know, select the free download here, the Download Now button. Do not select the pro version. If you're commenting down below, if any of you guys see people commenting down below about it, you know, make sure you call them out on it and say, look, you know, time stamp this part of the video and explain to them the, the wizard I'm showing is free for what we need it for. You know, don't, it shouldn't be that hard, but for some reason it is hard for some people. But anyway, go ahead and select the download now button. So go ahead and select that. And it shouldn't take too long to download. Go ahead and run the setup file once it's done. And select yes if you receive the user account control prompt. You can close out of the web browser too at this point. And you want to select your correct setup language. I'm going to uncheck the option for the mini tool shadow maker free. I'm just going to keep the mini tool partition wizard free check mark here. And you can participate in the customer experience improvement program. I'm going to uncheck that though. For my case, I mean, you're welcome to if you want. And I'm going to select next. And then I'm going to select next again. Select Finish and make sure Launch Application is selected here. Okay, so once this utility launches here, there should be unallocated space now. You should see it down here at the bottom. You want to right click on it and select Create. And then at this point, you enter in a partition name, whatever you want, doesn't matter to me. This is the name of the drive that we're going to be calling it. I'm just going to call it New Volume. And Create As, I'm just going to keep it primary, NTFS. Drive letter, you can change it if you want. I'm just going to keep it as E here. And then once that is done, we're going to go ahead and select OK. And you're going to have to go click the Apply button. It says Apply Pending Changes. Go ahead and select Yes. And it should say Apply to all the pending changes successfully. Click on Close. You can uninstall this program if you want at this point. You don't need it on your computer, but that's pretty much it. That should have been able to resolve the problem for you guys. And as always, thank you for watching. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.